Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the guidance card over here and this is the Three of Pentacles over here. So um, you are needing to get some advice or some assistance in how to proceed forward. So you are asking for, um, you know, advice from people around you and guidance in, um, you know, going through this relationship. You might be discussing your relationship with somebody at this moment. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're having any kind of problems, it seems like you might well be high having some problems because you've got this compromise card over here, which is the Six of Pentacles over here. So there's a need for you to give and take in this relationship, um, you know, and reach some kind of compromise if you're having any kind of problems. And you might be seeking some kind of uh, guidance or some kind of counseling um, at this moment. Um, you've got the past lives card over here, which is um, the moon card. Um, so um, this is about, um, you know, being a bit confused, a bit depressed, a bit upset about things that are going on and maybe uh, just being very, very anxious about the situation that you're dealing with at the moment. So something has got you feeling a bit depressed and low within this relationship. You might be getting some kind of counseling over there and you might be needing to reach some kind of compromise. In the past, you've got the courage card over here, which is the strength card, and this is overcoming any kind of obstacles that you were dealing with within, in the relationship. So you did have some problems, but it seems to have gotten over it. And you've got this flower blooming over here. So everything seems to have settled and the relationship seems to have been going, going in the right direction. So you've got the change coming in as well, which is the Wheel of Fortune. So things have been changing quite a bit, uh, you know, and uh, moving on. There might have been really positive change coming in within that relationship. But events have happened that uh, have um, maybe... You know, sometimes it causes stresses to relationships when things change suddenly. You've got the slowing down card of here, which is the, um, the Prince of Pentacles or the uh, Knight of Pentacles. This is talking about working really, really hard on this relationship. So you need to put in, in order for you to make this relationship successful, you need to do some work on it. So you need to put some effort into it. Uh, you know, you need to nurture this relationship in order for it to move forward. And you need to take it easy. You need to take it slowly and, you know, don't bring in too much of drama. If compromise is needed, then that is what is needed for you to move forward. But, uh, you know, uh, a relationship also needs work in order for you uh, to make it successful. If you do put in that effort and that energy into that work, into this relationship, you put that work in, it looks like it's going to be successful because with the Knight of uh, Pentacles, you know, you always achieve the goal that you want, but it takes a lot of effort and a lot of work on your part and a lot of focus. So you've got the aloneness card over here. So this is talking about, this is the hermit and you do need to put some focus on that relationship. Maybe you've been taking it for granted and this is now time for you to get some new insights about it and to focus your attention back again on that relationship and put that effort into it because the Hermit card is ruled by Virgo and Virgo, uh, you know, always works really hard. So you do need to put some focus and attention on that relationship in order for it to move forward or in order for it to be a, a successful relationship. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Art Nouveau Tarot for the main read. You got the king of coins over here um, at the bottom of the deck and this is showing you being very very focused on your career uh, you're achieving quite a bit it looks like you know you are earning quite well you're in a very very much a leadership position and you're getting a lot of money coming in as well so financially pretty stable uh, you know earning well you may have gotten a promotion or you might be in a leadership position where you're earning pretty well but you're very 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 focused on this particular relationship you're focused on that coin you're focused on your career at this particular moment. And, uh, you know, this might be uh, because of your focus that you are neglecting this relationship that you are in at the moment. 
So there are things going on with the within the relationship. There seems to have been some kind of event. You've got the Tower card coming in over here. And, uh, you know, there might have been some problems. Uh, and this has left you feeling very alone, very isolated uh, with the Hermit. Maybe you've retreated uh, into yourself because you uh, there was a lot of drama that happened. Uh, so some kind of problem, uh, some kind of issue has happened uh, that's um, uh, isolated you uh, from your partner and has made you feel very, very much alone. You've got this eight of coins over here. So uh, it seems like, you know, you're working very, very well together on a common goal. Uh, you all seem to be getting along and you all seem to be achieving. Uh, you know, you learnt a lot from this person and you learnt a lot from this relationship as well. And, uh, you know, you were getting, you know, you were getting things done. You're uh, making sure that this relationship progressed. Now, this person that you're dealing with, uh, it looks like they're, uh, they could be a water sign person. Uh, they could be... Um, um, Cancer, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces, uh, and they're very, very supportive of you. And they're very, you know, you get a lot of, um, em like I said, you get a lot of emotional support from this person. This also could be that you're getting some kind of counseling. So you could be going to counseling um, or getting uh, some kind of um, input um, into that relationship, some, some sort of support. Uh, the King of Cups, you know, usually. You could be dealing with counselors or psychiatrists, somebody that gives you that emotional support. On the other hand, it also could be somebody that's a father figure, you know, somebody in your family that is giving you that advice. So this is a card about advice, but it could be about the partner that you're dealing with. And they might be a water sign person and you might, you know, they might be very, very supportive of you. Now, you've got the Page of Cups over here. Um, you know, you want to start something. This is, um, you know, um, you want... To start something brand new. Now, this could be in the form of study. So, this could be something that is work related. Uh, maybe you're waiting for some kind of offer to come in. Uh, also, you know, you may have had a problem with this particular person, your your partner, and you might be waiting for an apology from this person because this page of cups is about apologies as well. So, you could be waiting for them to say they're sorry as well. And it looks like it's going to come in. You've got that ace of cups over here. So, a new cycle beginning. And it looks like they might, you know, maybe they feel pretty upset about upsetting you and they might be giving you that offer that op apology so that is coming in this it looks like uh, you know this brand new emotional uh, um, level being reached so you're starting off again so it looks like there might be this person is coming in with apology and uh, you know you start again uh, you know you rekindle that relationship again so what's happening with you? You're still very, very upset about what happened. Maybe you're feeling, you know, a bit nostalgic about, about the past. You might feel that, you know, that things that have happened in the relationship have uh, been a bit upsetting. Uh, or you might be even um, reminiscing a lot about that past and how you started off. And, uh, you know, you're feeling there's a bit of disappointment going over there because this this cup is empty. So you're crying a little bit about things that, uh, you know, you wished the relationship, maybe you wished the relationship went in a certain direction and it didn't. And you're a bit upset about that at this particular moment. Now, you've got the hangman over here. You're waiting for things to happen. So you're not being very proactive in it. You're waiting for things to change. And, um, you know, uh, you're waiting for that apology to come in with this Ace of Cups. Um, you're waiting for this person here to bring in that apology as well. You might be waiting for somebody to make that offer to, for you. Here you have that Page of Cups. Somebody bring in an apology for you. Um, but you're also, you know, spending a lot of time uh, dwelling a lot on past issues. You, you might be bringing up a lot of past issues that is better left in the past. So, you know, um, uh, you know, you might be um, romanticizing the past too much as well. So your hopes and fears, uh, this is about having an ideal that is not based in reality. So whatever, you know, you thought you wanted that relation to relationship to be it didn't turn out exactly like how you wanted it but you know you had too many ideals and it seems like you know the, with the seven of cups it's having uh you know they always talk about poisonous illusions with the seven of um cups so this is about having uh you know um visions of what that relationship would should be like that and it's not based in reality and maybe this is why you're feeling disappointed uh, with this empty cup over here thinking that you haven't achieved things so you need to to be very realistic and grounded about this relationship uh you know you need to have, be um aware that you know people make mistakes and maybe sometimes uh you know plans change and uh you know relationship relationships takes take turns 
for the for you know take different turns they become something they evolve into something different so uh, you know it's time to let go of the past ideals that you have um, you know past regrets that you have about that relationship see it in a different light and move forward now you've got uh, these this ace of rods over here so this is something brand new coming in so there this might be uh you know you've got this new ace over here as well as this ace of um rods over here this ace of cups and this ace of rods so this might be that this relationship that you're in uh you know has uh is get given a second chance so you might be a uh, you know something that gets rekindled um there doesn't look like there's a breakup that is why i think it is a you know a, a relationship that you're already in but it's taking on a different uh, role at this particular moment and maybe there's a rekindling of love and a rekindling of attraction to this particular person and a lot of communication going on between you and this person so some kind of tower event happened there might have been a temporary separation between you and this person that's why you're feeling a bit neglected and a bit alone and it looks like an apology coming in and a new change coming in and maybe a, you know a rekindling of that attraction that you had to that person you've got the queen of stave of, over here so you're taking your control back taking your power back this is your card the queen of um um rods um you know taking control back and uh you know being in charge all over again and uh you know uh relaxing a little bit as well you might be even thinking of doing some travel as well with that card and it looks like you know there's a new a change a shift with the full card seeing things from a different perspective doing things in a different way now and making a brand new start in that relationship again so it looks like you know you're going to uh, you know uh, take this relationship to a different level and it's going to have uh you know uh, a rebirth this looks like it looks like this relationship is going to have a rebirth there's a new attraction somehow uh, within the relationship itself and you feeling you know very much uh, in charge again and you know taking that chance uh, of uh, doing doing it differently you might be approaching this relationship from a very different kind of way right now after this tower event has happened so it looks like uh, you know there might be that apology coming in for you and it now uh, moves this relationship into something different. And, you know, you need to stop living in the past, but look at it from a very realistic point of view. Uh, this person that you're with seems to be very, very supportive. Uh, and, you know, uh, maybe you need to just work on the relationship a little harder uh, in order for you to uh, give it a new a rebirth, almost like a fresh coat of paint, if you like. So you've got the Knight of Michael over here, which says it is time to move quickly, choose logic over emotion, sudden changes. So uh, strong, committed, intellectual and diligent. It looks like, you know, uh, this person, maybe you all had a temporary uh, separation uh, and it looks like some news coming in from this uh, person uh, you know that apology coming in and it's going to come in pretty quickly as well and then you've got the sun so happiness coming in life is wonderful thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success so it looks like you know with this apology uh, a lot of happiness comes in as well and there's a change and you've got that ace of michael over here a wonderful new idea don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress clear up communication problem with others so you and your partner need to have a heart to heart you'll need to open up communication in order to bring the sun in and you might need you, you might even need to take a holiday together and clear up that communication with this person uh, it looks like there might be some travel indicated you've got that a knight of michael and the sun over there so that you might need to take some kind of vacation together and spend some quality time together uh, in order for you to rekindle this relationship uh, because it doesn't look like there's a separation but it looks like you know there is uh, that uh, a rebirth within that relationship so after you all have had these problems, uh, you know, it looks like it's going to be even stronger, this relationship, because you've got that sun card, a lot of happiness in that relationship. And it looks like if you clear up communication problems, you know, these um, these few arguments that you may have been having is, are just little bumps in the road and things are going to, you know, uh, improve uh, for in the future. And you're just going to have to wait for that to happen. Uh, you know, don't rush things. Take it easy and stop living in the past and stop having past regrets uh, as well. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.